Welcome to Feldenkrais with Taro Iwamoto. I am Taro and today I will be guiding you through a short shoulder mobility routine. And all you need for this one is pretty much your body, your attention, that's it. And um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna do this one on the floor. So I guess you need a mat if you're gonna do it on the floor. And I'm gonna be doing all the movements on the hands and knees positions. And so if you have challenges and to get down on your knees and your hands, so modification would be that uh, you can do this one at the dining table, sitting in a chair, and then do the same or similar movements while you're sitting in a dining chair and then the hands on the dining table. Or if you prefer to do it in standing, and the countertop and yeah the countertop would work and you stand and put your hands on the countertop and then going through a similar movement sequence so just make a um, modification as you need but i'm going to do on the floor from hands and knees positions so let's uh, let's get down on the hands and knees So trying to place the hands about the shoulder width apart and the knees about the hip width apart. And uh, shoulders directly over the elbows and hips directly over the knees as the starting positions. And then find the neutral spine so that you're not arching your back too much or you're not rounding your spine too much and keep your head neutral as well. As a starting uh, from, as a starting positions, and from these positions, and very very slowly, and begin to move your hips back towards the heels. Then, of course, there is a uh, depending on your mobility of the knee joints and the hip joints. Then you may not go uh, be able to go all the way back. So don't make that at a focus and just so that uh, you don't hurt your hips of the back or the knees as you're going through this one. But move slowly here. And this is the important part. When you move and move your hips back directions and please pay attention to your spine and particularly your thoracic spine. It is very common when you do this movement and thoracic spine flexes as the head, bring, head comes down. And what happens is that when you flex the thoracic spine and the head goes down, it brings the shoulders towards the ears and it makes it a little bit more strenuous to, to do this motion. So try to almost lift your sternum or lift your chest up or keep your chest up and then as you move your hips back almost as if you wanted to arch your spine as you move back and that changes the position of your shoulders and that actually positions your shoulders in a much better place okay so just Practice and being able to rock yourself back without rounding your middle back, your thoracic spine. You almost think about moving your spine in opposite directions, arching. And how that mobilizes your shoulders and then also your thoracic spine. You want to work them together as they function together. If you want to improve your shoulder mobility, you want to improve how you use your thoracic spine and how you integrate your thoracic spine with your shoulders. Here. Okay. And I'm gonna take a little break. And please uh, feel free to put a mat underneath your knees 
if the knees are sensitive, just so that you can stay comfortable. Now, going through the similar movements, except, and this time, you're going to put your hands, move your hands a little bit to the left, okay, but you don't move your knees. And then, from there, you're going to move your heels, uh, move your sit bones back towards the heels. You're doing the same movements, keeping your, lifting your sternum as you rock yourself back. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way. Oops. So you can see how I'm moving diagonally. Now my hands are placed off to the side. Then I'm rocking myself back. So the same movements, but it moves the shoulders in a different way. Make sure you breathe. Don't force it, please. And now change, move your hands over to the other side. Just a little bit more to the side from the center. Keep your hands fixed on the floor and then lift your sternum as you rock your hips back. I find it helpful to keep your eyes fixed in the space between your hands somewhere as you rock yourself back and that facilitates, that tends to facilitate that thoracic spine movement. So I'm looking at right here and up. And you can try either breathing in or breathing out and see which one uh, helps with this motion. For me, Hmm, I have to try. Okay. Okay, so for me, breathing out and tends to work better. I don't know for you, but you can try both ways. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's see which one facilitates this motion for you. All right, then we're gonna stop. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. So, so far, we did rocking back, straight back, and then place the hands off to the side and rocking back, kind of the diagonally, and rocking back diagonally the other directions, which kind of mobilizes the shoulders in a slightly different way. And then the last one, okay, coming back to the neutral positions, and the hands and knees positions. And this time, I'm going to make a full circle, keeping my elbows straight. So I'm gonna move, okay, move the hips and my body around the clock. Going forward, around, and back. So I'm moving the whole body around the fixed knees and the hands. and how big the circle should be is really based upon what your body allows you to do. It's not about my body, it is about your body. So pay attention to your body. So mobilizing the shoulders and actually mobilizing the hips also in the same way in all planes of the motion, circle. But as you're going forward, you're not bending the elbows. You're keeping the elbows forward. No, and it's also mobilizing the wrist, mobilizing the spine. So it's not just a shoulder mobility routine. And this is the whole body mobility routine actually, which is a good thing, right? Now, I'm gonna change the direction of the circle. If it's too hard on your wrist, you may try on your fist. So play with that. 
So maybe for some of you, it may be your knees that's limiting this motion more than your shoulders, or maybe your back, maybe your hips, uh, the, maybe your knee, uh, the hips. But either way, it's the, your body, the whole body is there, work together, so improving them all together is a good idea. So don't worry that you can't move to the big range, not a problem. Okay, and then I'm coming back to the neutral. All right, that was quick and simple routine. It doesn't mean easy for you, All right? So quickly going over what we did today, hands and knees positions, or if you choose to do sitting in a chair, place the hands on the dining table, and then you can kind of adjust the distance from the table and to the chair, and then you're doing rocking back and forward, same thing. Or from the hands and knees and moving your hips back towards the heels. And remember to pay attention to your sternum. You're lifting your sternum as you're going, uh, moving your hips back so that you are engaging and uh, integrating your thoracic spine with your shoulders, which is a healthy thing to do. If not, if they don't work together, and then you end up in creating more strain to your shoulder. So that's not very healthy. And then when change the placement of your hands, hands a little bit to the side, and then doing the same rocking movements, move the hips back towards the heels, integrating your chest. And then we did the other directions. And then place the hands back to the neutral positions. And then we did the whole body circle, okay, moving the moving the whole body around the clock in both directions and keeping the hands and the knees fixed on the floor slowly gently all right and that's it check out these videos and if you like this video and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends comment below how helpful you found this video was thank you so much for watching see you in the next video happy mindful movement bye bye